Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this episode, we will discuss search function. I request you to download this workbook using the link in the video description to follow along with me. For the people who are watching this video for the first time, I urge you to go ahead and watch the video lesson that is produced before this one, the nested function video lesson, so that you get an idea of nested functions as you may experience similar format in this video lesson. Now what is search function? This function will help you find the position of a specific character in a given string. This is not a case sensitive function. Using this function we will try to produce a new email ID for our custom organization. Now looking at the email addresses I find it pretty simple to extract the left part that is falling before at the rate symbol using the left function but look what happens when I try to do that press an equal to bring in the left function then select this cell then insert the comma I need to extract the letters from the left part of that string but how many I have no idea on that so how am I going to decide on the number of characters that needs to be extracted? Search function comes in very handy at this point. Let us give it a look. Press equal to, type in search. This function requires three arguments. The first one is find text. What is the text you are trying to find? In this case, we are trying to find at the rate symbol. You can also provide the reference to a cell in this position. Now insert a comma. Now second argument says within text. Where do you want the function to search for that text? I want it to search in this cell. Then what number should it start from? Which character number? So by default it is going to start from 1. If I provide other numbers it will begin from that point. In our situation we want it to start from 1 so I will insert 1 close the bracket press enter there we go the position of at the rate symbol on that string is 8 now if I drag this down you will notice the position may slightly vary for other email addresses based on the length of the email address. Now I know the position of at the rate symbol in that email address. I want to extract some characters from the left side of this string. How many characters I would like to extract? I would like to extract these many characters minus 1. If I do not remove 1 from that number, it will include the tailing at the rate character with that string. Now let me press enter. See that? I have first part of the email address properly extracted. If I drag this down, it will start extracting the characters from other cells too. Now for the new email address, all I can do is press equal to, select this cell, insert ampersand and in double quotations provide my custom domain name. Close the double quotations and press enter. I have my new email address produced. Now let me drag this down. Great. But these set of operations we have performed are actually happening in three columns. I can do this all in one single column. Let me give it a try using nested functions. So this time I will get rid of these two columns. and there's a reference error since those columns it was trying to extract the values from are no more there on the sheet so let me remove the function from those cells now here I will type in the left function first now I need few characters on the left side of this cell how many characters I don't know so I am going to call search function to decide on that now I need to find at the rate symbol. So I will provide that in double quotations. I want the character to be searched in this cell. So I click on that cell. Insert the comma. I want it to begin from the position 1. 
so I insert one there now I am closing the search function bracket and I will reduce one character from it then I will close the left function and now I will provide ampers and and in double quotations I will provide the tailing domain name of my organization close the double quotations and press enter before I press enter let me tell you what is happening here the left function is containing the search function which is extracting the number of characters that is the position of at the rate symbol minus one so if at the rate is falling at eighth position it is actually returning seven because we are reducing one from that value similarly if the at the rate symbol is falling at 11th position it will return 10 now when the left function is trying to look for some of the characters from the left side of this email address it will try to decide on the number of characters that are required using the search function output then once that is completed it will attach the extracted characters using the ampersand with the custom string that is provided at the end of this formula now let's press enter on the keyboard and see what happens there we go we have a new email produced right in one single cell using the nested functions and a formula attached to it let me drag this down there we go I am sure you will find this video lesson very helpful in performing your day-to-day -day activities in Excel. This function can be used in variety of ways. So give it a try. And in case you get stuck, do not hesitate to write a comment in the section below. And I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and continue your learning with Sayyid. Have a nice day.